It's important in medical settings to differenti differentiate mediumship, uh, what I name physiological mediumship, from pathological trends. The, the importance of such a differentiation is that in, in, in clinical settings, uh, in many times, a uh, physician is, is obligated to divide, to make a differential diagnosis between these two situations. One situation, you have a normal person with no uh, psychopathological antecedents, with no psychiatric morbidity, uh, and this, this individual usually is uh, in a setting of a, a, a specific religion, for instance, spiritism. So it is uh, common in spiritism settings, you have people uh, that have this, this, this phenomena, mediumship. And sometimes it is difficult to differentiate this uh, phenomena from pathological trends. For example, we have some situations in psychiatry diagnosis uh, in, in which uh, trends is the most important phenomena. Uh, for example, in uh, trends possession disorder, uh, in, in multiple personality disorder, and another uh, uh, elements from the group of dissociative disorders. So it is useful in clinical terms to make a good differentiation between these, these conditions, because we will have some implications in therapeutics. Uh, that's, uh, uh, of course, we will treat patients with pathological trends because they are related with functional disability, they are related with a uh, dysfunctional life in general, and uh, it's a, a state of, of mental suffering. Uh, in, the op in the opposite side, we have mediumship. Mediumship is not associated with this functionality. On the contrary, uh, most of the, the mediums are well adapted people, people that uh, have normal uh, scores in functional scales, and they, they manifest their uh, mediumship in very adequate settings, such as religion uh, f uh, uh, meetings, such as in lectures related to, to, to mediumship. But, on the contrary, the psychopathological group uh, have trans manifestations in uh, not contextualized situations, settings. For instance, at work, at home, in front of the children, uh, in, in, in situations of uh, in fighting situations, etc. Uh, in terms of psychopathology, we have some uh, psychiatric disorders, as I told before, specifically related with pathological trends, such as uh, trends and possession uh, disorder and multiple personality disorder. But one interesting finding by our group is that most of the cases are also related with bipolar disorder. disorder. As if bipolar disorder could predispose the opening of such psychopathology in the sense that uh, Bipolar disorder creates an appropriate psychological environment to represent some animistic content, inner content. <laughs>